Welcome to the final destination of this northern thrifting trip. And I am at the Value Village in Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. So let's go in and see what I can find to resell in my Etsy shop, Fifth Avenue Vintage Co. Or possibly keep for myself. All right, well, we have made our way to the bag section. So let's check it out. I hope it does not fail me today. compact but it doesn't look that old and so far I'm not seeing too much except for some candle hamburger a candle hamburger or hamburger candle and pineapple. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is that cloisoning? $3.99 for three little cloisoning bases? Yeah, I'll grab that. What else is in here? Some little ducks. Hand painted ducks. Well, that's a gooder. That's a gooder. <laughs> oh, you can tell I'm back home. Gooder. And then there's another one. I don't know why they wouldn't put all the ducks together and all the cloisonne together, but whatever. I'm taking them both. $3.99 each. That looks like it might be an interesting bag. Let's have a gander. It's a little trinket box and a little piece of pottery. This sign. And a couple coasters. I think we'll leave that one. bag of miniature pottery. Some little boxes and a little Buddha. Is that a box or... Or what? Or what are you? I think that's a candle tea light holder. Oh my god, why do I love these little chickens? Why do I love this little bag? <laughs> Look at those, they're so cute. Are they? Mm. they don't serve a purpose so they're cute but I can resist I will resist you shakers. Those are really pretty. All 
right. Well, I have gone through the majority of the baggies and I found a couple great little baggies with some cloisonne. Is any utensils, kitchen utensils. All right, I'm gonna head over to the art wall with my rattly cart. Should have put my jacket in there for some cushioning, I guess. There's some craft stuff in these baggies, but I don't think I need any craft stuff. Those are vintage prints, pretty bird. Well, no, maybe they're not. Actually, they're not. Those are modern. That is three dimensional. All right, don't see any art here on the art wall. There's a great big piece. Not, a, not an original. I'm over in their electrical baggy section. <laughs> Let's see if there's any switch plate covers or electrical covers. I do see one here, but I've got quite a few of these. I've got a lot of these listed and they are not really popular, those ones. So. Wow, that's loud. So I'm in there, blankets and afghans and I see a very fun vintage blanket. I sold one exactly like this, but it was blue with yellow. That's really fun. I'm definitely going to take that as long as it's not a gazillion dollars. $4.99. Well, I'm going to open it up first and make sure it's in good condition. If it is, I'm definitely taking that fun vintage daisy blanket. Okay, well, I'm definitely taking that. It's in really good condition. I laid it over top of the glasses so it'll protect them. Maybe I won't be so loud and noisy. Hand knit. Doesn't it look nice and warm and cozy? Super long. I would wear that with some leggings. $12.99. We've got sheets. Sheets and pillowcases. These are vintage. These are fun. sunny and bright and cheery are those. Same with these ones. Those are pretty fun. They feel like really nice quality too. You can go in my cart. Of course, I'll look them over better. $5.49. I'll make sure they're not stained or ripped or anything, but for now, they can sit in my cart. Who is this? Kiss. No, Montley Crew. Montley Crew. Is that vintage? No. I don't think so. No. <laughs> Look at this. 
Is this vintage? Look at this. I don't know. I don't know if it's vintage or not. It's got that black cat on it. It's very uh, Halloween-y. I don't think it's that old though. I don't know. It just doesn't feel quite vintage -y enough. Okay, I'm gonna go and check out their towel section. I have been known to find some really nice vintage towels here. So I'm gonna start off on this side. Your tea towels. Kitties. Alright, nothing looks vintage there. I have to remember to take a thumbnail. I never remember to take a thumbnail when I'm in the thrift store. I always have to do a screenshot of my actual thrifting. Whoa, that is really bright. Super bright. What is that? What does that say? I don't know. It's aprons. That's cute. I don't need any aprons, so. Okay, well, I'm gonna turn around here and check out their towels. I already see there's vintage towels in here, so. I know there's definitely gonna be vintage towels, but whether or not they'll be good ones. What's this one? Cam, Camtex. That's pretty. as well. Lots of wear and stains on that one. So that's a no. Ooh, there we go. Still has its original tag from Kmart. It was 96 cents. It's a dollar ninety-nine, and I'm taking it with me. <laughs> new with tags. We like new with tags. New old stock. This is a vintage one as well, but it's just kind of plain. There's a vintage one here few of them. Ooh, I have a face cloth that matches that. That's definitely 19, late 60s, 70s, mid-century. We're taking you. Mom, Dad wants you. <laughs> this one is vintage as well. It's kind of an odd color combination. I don't know. I don't know. Is this is someone out there going to be like, yeah, that's my bathroom? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. They're totally into 1970s. Feels like nice quality. Feels like it's possibly a Caldwell towel. Where's the tag? Oh, 
Uh, no, it's not Caldwell. It's Fieldcrest. Made in USA. Well, it's nice quality. And maybe it's not everybody's cup of tea, but it could be somebody's. Oh, look at, oh, look at this. We have a set. Oh my goodness, I love a set. We love a good set, don't we? <laughs> Holy, I'm filling my cart. I knew I would. I knew I would come here and fill my cart. Just about always do. Maybe the face cloths are in here to go with the set of towels. Wouldn't that be awesome? That one's vintage. More wear than I would like. What is this? What is this? Oh my goodness. Honeymooner's towel. Look at the graphics on this. Is that vintage? I think so. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, definitely have to get this. That is too fun. <laughs> might not be, might not be uh, appropriate. Ooh, that's fun. That's really fun. That's really bright. Do I want that bright, fun, whoa, face cloth? Yeah, I do. That one's nothing too special. Two bucks though. I mean, I would have to have more to go with it. It's really hard just to sell a face cloth. Well, my storage was full. My phone storage was full. I had to delete a bunch of old stuff off my phone so cut me off in mid-sentence i decided to leave those face cloths if there was a set i would have grabbed them but i don't need them for myself so i'm gonna head over to the purses i'm getting low on battery as well so i will see you over there if i find anything i will let you know so i just found some burgundy leather cowboy boots <laughs> how fabulous are these they're in the men's section so i don't know they seem kind of small for men's they're seven and a half but women can wear men's boots as well can't they i don't know 17.49 so I'm actually going to try them on and see how big they are on me just to kind of gauge whether these are actually men's or women's, but score. I just found some black leather boots. I'm pretty sure these are leather. They feel like really soft. Maybe they're not. They are signed. I think it says John Herzog. They're size six. And I've been looking for some new black boots. I really like this style. This, oh, uh, yeah, that's not leather. Wouldn't be like that, I don't think, if it was real leather. Yeah. Those are a pass. Those are a no-go. You can see we have a massive purse wall. I can't show you all the way down there because there's someone standing there, but this is a very long purse wall. And I don't have a lot of battery life, so I'm just gonna go through these purses and if I find anything, I will show you what I find. So I didn't find anything in the purses and I'm just about out of battery life. So I'm going to end the video here and if you have been watching 
all the videos up to this point for my thrifting adventures north, then you will have noticed that I didn't do any hauls at the end of the video. And I'm going to do one great big haul video and show you everything that I got from all of the thrift stores starting in, where did I start? Mormon, <laughs> starting in Mormon all the way to Prince Albert. And it's gonna be a big one because I've got a whole cart full of stuff here. So, so that is, that will be coming up. So stay tuned for that. And if you're new and you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, leave a comment down below. And until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.